Hi, I'm Tom Davenport, uh, professor at Harvard Business School, I'm here at the SAS Premier Business Leadership Series 2012 in Las Vegas, and um, the, the topic that I'm most excited about these days is data scientists. Uh, I um, was working with SAS, the, the host of this conference, to learn more about these people. I um, had an intuition that they were the most important um, big data asset that one could have and the most difficult to find. And many of the technologies are open source, the data is pretty widely available, but the people who do this sort of work are, are very scarce and are um, um, difficult to find and, and retain. Um, I had worked with analytics uh, professionals for a number of years and that was always the most interesting aspect of um, uh, the whole analytics movement to me the people who do the work and how you how you attract them and organize them and, and motivate them and so on but it's even harder with data scientists they tend to have uh, quite esoteric educational backgrounds many of them are scientists physicists biologists and so on um, and they also need to um, be able to manage data, to do quantitative analysis, and to explain it all to the um, executives and decision makers. One key difference between data scientists and um, traditional analysts is that the data scientists tend to be working on products and services that involve customers. And, uh, really transforming the, the business model and the strategy with the um, applications and the offerings that they come up with. And that was typically not something that we saw with traditional analysts. So I think they will continue to be in demand. I hope that a number of universities around the world can develop programs that churn these people out at a, at a high rate because we, we need them if big data is going to be successful. You mentioned that being a big uh, a data scientist is like holding the sexiest job in the 21st century. Can you elaborate on that, please? So I, I wrote an article, co-authored an article in Harvard Business Review called Data Scientist, the, the Sexiest Job of the 21st Century. Uh, I have to give credit to the editors for choosing that subtitle, but I do think they are sexy in terms of being very much in demand. The, the curve of hiring quantitative analysts and data scientists almost go straight up now. The demand is just insatiable, and so I suppose that makes them sexy. I don't think they are necessarily sexy in the traditional sense of, the, of that term.